Welcome to the Whiskey Tribe. Today, it's a seasonal episode. That's right, it's a seasonal episode. Cold weather whiskey, right? bourbon specifically. Right. Now, when it comes to cold weather anything, yes. there's certain foods, certain drinks that just seem more appropriate yeah. during their respective times of year. Pie. Well, no, pie could be summer too, I guess. You chose like the one food that is universally delicious <laughs> year round. every day, I only, at any moment. I literally only eat pie <laughs> at Thanksgiving and Christmas. Right. We asked the Magnificent Bastards, what are the whiskeys you're reaching for whenever it's cold outside? That's right. Collected these bottles. We're going to be sampling these bottles. We're going to go from 10 to 1. Are you ready? I'm ready. The first one. Knob Creek. Yes. Single yes. barrel, not just any Knob Creek. Yes. Okay. Oh, Knob single Creek. barrel. Single barrel. Okay. Because it's a higher proof. Yeah. Hold on. Is it, this is a weird nose for me right now. Is that weird? Oh, it's for very you? vegetal. Yeah. You usually get the sweetness jumping out of the glass. No, this is very much with bourbons, vegetation. With bourbons, you're going to get that corn sweetness. And this is one of not even like a spicy herbal, just like an earthy. We have people doing things. <laughs> hey guys! It's like an earthy herbal, not a spicy herbal. I'm not getting the pepper thing. I'm getting that mulchy, wow. gardeny herbal. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm. Let's see if I can get warmed up here. Oh, there it is. There's all that brown sugar sweetness. The drama shows up on the it's taste. Densely sweet. Oh, what's the proof? It's got the spice. 160%. 120 proof. 60. Yeah. That's a high. Okay. Like a molasses and oak. Yeah, molasses, oak, and brown sugar. Yeah. And then and then that vegetal richness to the nose. And Knob Creek, this has a tremendous amount of distribution, right? Yeah. Now you gotta be buckled in for mm -hmm. a high yeah, proof this is like whiskey. Up there with the stags. So, so that's a good one. You can get that a lot of places. Yeah, yeah a lot I of mean, distribution. It, not necessarily this bottle, but you're gonna get single barrels from Knob Creek. Sure. That'll put some heat on you. <laughs> it will. <laughs> Number nine on the list. It's the old Forester 1920. The old Forester. Hey, you need to empty that glass. Oh, Lord. And Prince, the. We're not savages. We're scientists. We're whiskey scientists, Rex. Bill and I would be ashamed of you. <laughs> oh, God, that was right in the eye. This is the Old Forester. They do all of these various releases where they're replicating flavor profiles. Uh, this is Prohibition style. 1920 is the release. Ringing in at 115 proof. Whenever distilleries do things like uh, super old recipes, prohibition style, for mm -hmm. example, is that just like something to put on the bottle to make it sound interesting? Or are they no, actually no. going back and doing things? They're actually going up and looking old recipes up from prohibition or finding bottlings and actually trying to replicate styles of things that were happening then. Okay. Just flavor wise. Right. So not necessarily with equipment. Not production wise. Okay. Flavor. They're still using modern equipment. These guys were the first to bottle whiskey for sale instead of sell it by the barrel. Sweeter on the nose. Oh, and then the palate is, even though it's 115, it's this mild and then corn herbal sweet, but not really Ooh. rich and dark. Pretty well balanced. Yeah. Pretty well balanced. Oh, there it is. If you, if you spread it around a little bit, bing, pepper. The pepper kind of jumps out of the glass a little bit. Another high proof. Do you know those grocery stores where you bring your own container? And you have to fill up your own container like your with bag. It. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, like literally, you want rice? Oh, there's a bulk bin of rice. You have to bring your own container to put the rice in. I you not heard about this? I don't really. This do. is like the ultimate in zero waste. Okay. You know, like the whiskey people were the original zero waste. Okay. Because the the bar would buy a barrel, and if you wanted some bottle, yeah, you had to go bring your own bottle, and they'd fill it from the barrel. Huh. That's zero waste. Yeah. Yeah. Can we we should do, go back to that. Can we do that? It's people, like recycling. People bring their own bottle, and we fill it. Is no. that? No, it's totally illegal. I like the Knob Creek better, right. actually, even though this is really light and pretty and for a high proof. Right. But um, I like the the nose on this better, but mm -hmm. I like the taste of the Knob Creek better. Yes, I um, I don't know. I really like good. how vegetal that nose They're both good, was. but if I'm just direct comparing, mm -hmm. yeah. If I have to have an opinion because there's a camera in the room and we're making content. Then I will. The next one up, number eight, is Eagle Rare. Mm. Eagle Rare, if I remember correctly, this is a popular bourbon, a lot right. of distribution. I Ten also, years old. I also remember it being pretty unique. I also remember it being more in the herbal direction. Okay. Maybe there's going to be a theme Like grassy here. herbal spice. Maybe there's a theme with Maybe. cold weather. We'll see. Who knows? This is a combination of sweet, light, fresh apple eucalyptus yep. with that herbalness. Yes, I totally agree. Mm. Yeah, that'll do. And it's gonna be more of an easy sipper. That has to be a lower proof. What it's do we a have? little slightly tanniny, bitter on the back end. Yeah, on the finish there. Yeah, the finish gets a little bit barrel tannin, which the other ones did not do. It's 10 years old. 45% alcohol, mm -hmm. 90 proof. Very nice and lovely. A little bit more of an easy sipper, a little bit more sweet 
and friendly. When it comes to cold weather and people drinking things like whiskey right. to um, warm up. Yeah, let's, let's do a little PSA. <laughs> You will feel warmer when drinking hard liquor when you're cold, but you're actually slowly killing yourself. What you're just, actually happening is you're thinning your blood, you're increasing the heat evaporation off your skin, mm -hmm. which increases the odds of you freezing to death if there's a danger of that. Right. If you're, if you're in a serious environmental situation, don't be reaching for the, the alcohols there. It'll make you feel better, but you'll actually not be better. Not at, at all. all. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to number seven, yeah. makers. Cask strength. Ah, uh, there is a theme. There is. Everyone's adding in high proof whiskeys yeah. to this list. I would be surprised if there is going to be a 40%, you know, as low of a proof as you can have in whiskey. All, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's yep. way more. Ooh. This is the most cherry. Graham cracker and cherry. Yeah. And yeah. the first of the real dark cherry notes that we've gotten. And a, and a little bit of walnut in there, too. It's lovely. Oh, Just it tastes it. identical to how it smells. Opens up so the, the noses. Maker's Mark is one of these brands where they've been around so long and they're so big. I think people try and look for reasons to not like it because it's so big. It's like, ah, we got to find somebody to hate and they're might as well be the big ones. They're consistent. Yeah, good. but every time I try it, it's like, yeah, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm still totally fine going to any bar when I'm traveling or going around and I don't know what the whiskey selection's like. Mm -hmm. I don't even look. I just go, I'll take a Makers. Ooh. And then they're gonna have Makers. The finish on that is you have a nice little tannin element. Yeah, but it's still As if, really light. Yeah. Not like Eagle Rare went bitter on the end. Yeah. This does not get bitter. It just gets a little more wood depth. Mm -hmm. Number six, Wild Turkey Rare Breed. This is the barrel proof, 116, so ringing in close to what the, or just a little over yep. what the 1920 Old Forester was. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. It's wild turkey. That it's always really, good. It's a really rounded off brown sugar and honey. Like a sweet Fuji apple mixed in there. Oh, come on. Dude, that is hands down. So far. My favorite so far. So far, yeah. I feel like a... A broken it's, bourbon record. I do. Well, no, <laughs> it, uh, I feel like a broken record when it comes to wild turkey. Yeah. Because it just is so good. what leaps to mind is the balance of these flavors. Yes. Just spot on. You have the sweet elements that have enough character to still be interesting. And then you have the a uh, little bit more of the dry and the oak and maybe uh, not quite herbal. But here's the thing but about this maybe taste. Maybe some baking spices. Take what's left in there and swish it all around and really get it in there. Mm -hmm. It explodes every single flavor simultaneously instead of this flowing journey. It makes me want to do really weird commercials for wild turkey and then just air them on YouTube without telling anybody. Yeah. Be like, wild turkey made from real turkeys since 1893. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, now we're moving on to a perennial favorite. Are you ready? Perennial. What if, if you had to pick anything that somebody would have said, well, of course you're going to have this in what's turning out to be a high proof cold weather bourbon list, what high would you think was going to be on weather, there? High proof cold weather dramatic. Yeah. Stag Jr. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here it is. All right. In my early whiskey days, mm -hmm. this knocked my dick in the dirt. This was so high of a proof, so much drama yeah. that I could just... Does not compute. I, I want to go back and figure out which first episode that was. When Does you, not compute. You had it for the first time. Yeah. And now, <laughs> right, it still has this reputation of being Stag uh, Jr. But you've been but, drinking past strength whiskey for oh, three yeah. years now. Oh, yeah. But now you go back and you actually start picking apart a bunch of interesting elements going on in there. Ha! It's so woody. It's so <laughs> woody. This is crawling in on like what we were tasting when we were in Balconis the other day. And then it, this is what it is. It burns your tongue meat, mm -hmm. right? And then after that subsides, it shifts gears, puts yeah. it four wheel low, and this <laughs> <laughs> just burning out the tires. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, we are now shooting tasting commercials for all the various large brands. I do hope you're comfortable at the level that we will never have sponsorships from any big brand. No, no, here's, you know what will happen? Right. Someday, we'll get one, right. and it will be the last one. <laughs> and someone will get fired. <laughs> <laughs> On their way out the door, it's like, 
Thank you, Whiskey Tribe, guys. <laughs> I, just, I showed up to work today after <laughs> green lighting that whole thing, and they had a, they had a, a security guard in a cardboard box. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now we're on to. Hold on, but just quickly, specific notes. Yeah. This is big barrel dry. So woody. It wraps around everything, mm -hmm. but then you get this really like almost a burnt molasses, a caramelized burnt yeah, molasses. Yeah, it is almost like. You're trying to caramelize sugar and you let it sit on the bottom of the pan too long and it yeah. got that slight charred flavor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I, and then if you just try and look past that, like thousand yard stare, you're traumatized. You look off into the distance and you can start to get some elements of uh, walnuts. But it's a mirage. It's like, <laughs> is that water over there? So, of course, you called it the Wild yeah. Turkey 101. That's the 101. Yeah. Ringing mm. in all right. at fourth place. Yeah, it's all there. It's all that rich black tea and honey. Mm -hmm. It's all the slight herbal, but more honey than herbal. Little bit of barrel spice. Yeah. But it doesn't have that explosion of flavor that the rare breed had. I always say, I mean, Wild Turkey 101 punches so far above its weight class yeah. in yeah, yeah. comparative pricing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? We're about to hit the top three now. <laughs> Sorry. Come on. Come on. Gotta keep moving. My, Gotta keep I moving. Lost my groove. Here we go. Go, go, go. Stella lost her groove. It's Four Roses, single barrel. Four Roses made the list. Ringing in on three. Whoa. Top three. Whoa. Now, right? Four Roses, no, this is a very, very popular Whoa. bourbon. Yeah. And readily available. A lot of people have the Four Roses. You know, on the nose, I'm going to guess if you're into the Maker's Mark, you're going to like the Four Roses. Yeah. I yeah. could see that. Very bready. Uh huh. And you and get that nice cherry in there. Okay, on the taste, this is a little more herbal than it is sweet. On the on the finish, on sorry. The, on the finish. On the finish, on the finish. Okay. this is a little more herbal than it is sweet. And I like that. And the barrel spice this picks up at the end. A slight head fake and nod, a lean into the herbal direction. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 59.8% alcohol? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's one of the Whoa. highest ones we've done so far. That's impressive. So, it I would drinks. Like a Way 46. Much easier. Maybe a 50. Yeah, I would have said like uh, low 50s. Number two, Rex, mm -hmm. is Booker's. Booker's. Oh, okay. Coming off the heels of everything, and this is something we always keep in mind. The experience you're going to have from whiskey to whiskey is going to vary a lot depending on what have you had you know, recently. Yes. Recently. Yes, absolutely. Oh, this is way more molasses. Uh, yeah. And then, a, and then wood, but not... I got, Oaky, but more like I got spicy. Like an old antique library yeah, wood. Yeah, rich. Yeah. Oil heavy. Like oiled wood, oiled leather. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Not dry and dusty. That's lovely. That's more interesting than I remember Booker. Yeah, right. this is specifically the 201801 release. Six years, three months. The Kathleen's Batch. It might be rare breed in this as my two. So number one, Daniel. What's what's uh, What do we have with the number one? The number one. one. Uh-huh. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Barrel Proof. This barrel Proof. Cast Strength. Right. Elijah Craig. This may be the first time Elijah Craig has been at the top of a list, of any I, of our lists. I know! So, Eli It showed up a couple of times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the top, the top of the cold weather bourbon list. Right. See, look at, look at me. I'm sweating. Can you see the sweat? Yeah. <laughs> My blood's so thinned out. Yeah, so thinned. <laughs> it is like 72 degrees today. At the end of November. And it'll be negative a million tomorrow. Yeah. Ah, oh, we're in. Oh, well, shit. That is. I like that one. No, I like the hell out of that. A lot. What is their barrel proof? Oh, my. Yeah, don't look at it. It'll. Did you see the proof? Yeah, oh, no, I know. <laughs> it's 12 years old, by the way. 130.6 proof. That is 65.3% <laughs> alcohol. That is by far the highest proof wow. whiskey we have ever had on this I show. I think we discovered why it's at the top of the list. My blood's so thin. Here's, I'm gonna add a little water it's to so this. It's so thinned, Daniel. <laughs> I'm gonna see what happens with just a dash of water. Mm hmm Oh, it opens up like crazy. Wait, I'm gonna pour you a little more 65% so that you can add some water and have the experience I just had. Uh-huh. It brought all this, the herbal vegetation that's buried below the deep molasses, dark sweetness, brought it out, but it actually made it, you know what? <laughs> Son of a bitch, if their number one isn't matching my number one. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, so with or without water? No, with water. With water. Number one, hmm. then Rare Breed, then Booker's. That's, that would be my order of what, of what we just tried. 
Come on, that's good though, isn't it? A few drops of the waters. Ah. Oh, a few drops of the waters. Comes alive. Yeah. It wakes up and smacks your mama. That's so good. Smacks your mama. Daniel, a sampling of all of the top 10 cold weather bourbons. The blend. What could be more cold weather proof than a blend of the top 10 cold weather bourbons? I may burst into flames with this heat. Whoa, that nose is all herb and vegetation. It is, it's not sweet. And, and, and the no funky. The nose is the taste. It did not maintain the sweetness and it locked in Ooh. the grassy. And wood. Yep. And pepper. Yep. It's too hot. I'm too warm. <sighs> oh God. It's got really, no, no. Daniel, this is what I'm gonna do. What? I'm gonna put you in charge of this week's shenanigan. Can I but, shenanigan you? Yes, and. <laughs> oh no. I've got a plan. Can the whiskey yeah. stand up to cold weather? It's hard to get cold weather in Texas. Right. So, I got us a Kenmore frost-free commercial freezer. We need you to be in the freezer to simulate cold temperatures. You're gonna have the whiskey okay. to keep you warm. This is the proprietary blend. <laughs> <laughs> I think if there's any combination of whiskeys that can make me warm, it is the top 10 cold weather bourbons. Okay. So you're gonna be sitting in this freezer. We're gonna shut it, yeah, yeah. and a couple things. Yeah. One, I cleaned it out for you, okay. as you can tell. Yeah. And I got you a little, like a nightlight. Ah, oh, right on. Right? Yeah. Cause you know, it's gonna be dark in there. And you need to be able to see your whiskey. Can we take this out? I gotta be able to oh. fit in there. <laughs> well, all right. They don't call you Finesse Williams for nothing. <laughs> You're gonna we'll flip the light on for you. Oh, son. Okay, cool. Is that good? I mean, it's cold. Yeah. Already, I can feel the, yeah. But, but here's the important thing. Yeah. We're gonna agitate the whole environment to agitate the molecules in the whiskey to activate them just like your turger pressure thing. Yeah. Right, but in the glass. <laughs> and it's gonna accelerate the heating process. Yes. To truly agitate this whiskey correctly, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take you on a nice little romp around the property. Okay. We're gonna lay this thing down on its back. So so as we agitate yeah. the whiskey, you don't go you know flying out the door. I'm like butt's cold. Yeah. I think it's gonna be great. I think it's totally gonna work. You ready? <laughs> Just tuck in. Alright. Are you ready for some agitation? Yeah, I'm ready for the. Oh, let me get my whiskey. There it is. <laughs> I got the whiskey. So, here's the door. Before it gets agitated, I'm gonna do like an A, B. Okay. Okay, we're good. All right, you have all, you have like all the pacing notes in your hand? Yep, locked and loaded. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of vibration. We got movement. With the heat, it's definitely getting hotter. So, may not adjust the flavor, but I think. <laughs> definitely getting warmer. I think we have tested the hypothesis. And I now know the results of our groundbreaking experiment. 
Scheiße. Hello. Guys. Daniel. Yes. Son of a bitch. Hello? Hello? 